Hi, Ali. How you going, So, Ali's uh, another of our research fellows uh, who's been working on 3D printing and taking all of the advances that we have in the material synthesis and processability and turning them into real structures. Ali's worked on a number of projects. You've been working on the, the 3D printed ears, the sleep apnea project, yep. and, and here we're talking about the, the stents. Uh, so, so what's what's important about the properties of a stent uh, for particular, you know, for, for applications? Uh, one of the important part is about the design first. So we have a couple of different design uh, because we have the ability, to, you know, to 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 code, the, you know, the G code on the machine. And then send it to this machine. This machine is able to, you know, to print the different structure of the, you know, the, the different property. And plus, because we have a different material, we can uh, play with the, you know, the uh, mechanical property. Let's say, for example, if you add the graphene to the, you know, the, to the polymer, then we can have the better and robust, you know, mechanical property to compare with the, you know, the normal polymer. So using 3D printing, uh, because of the flexibility in what we can fabricate, you can actually customize the exactly. stick exactly. depending on the particular exactly. application. And yeah. of course, there can be very complicated yeah. shapes of stents yeah. that are readily realized with yeah. 3D printing. Is, is one, of right? the, one of the problem, you know, at the moment for the commercial stent is just they cannot, you know, personalize for the innovation. By using the 3D printer, we can, we can make it, you know, personalized according to the scan data of the patient. Right. Uh, and we've been talking about graphene downstairs. Of course, it's a, an amazing material by itself, but it's often blended with other materials in order to improve the properties of that house structure. And I guess that's what we're doing here. Right? You're, you're taking small amounts of graphene yep. and blending that through a polymer that would normally be used to create a three-dimensional stent. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Actually, it's just you know, uh, it's allows us you know to use the uh, use the graphene and make it printable. You know, like like this structure here, and even you know a small amount of you know the polymer we, we can print the stent like this. And uh, and and so that graphene gives it. Uh, extra mechanical properties. Definitely, yes. Uh, and I guess if it was needed, could also impart electrical properties yeah, into the that's stent. A, that's a one of the best benefits of the using the graphene right. for the electro simulation if it's necessary. Yeah, and, and all made possible, of course, because of additive fabrication or, or advances in 3D printing. Yeah. It's, it's really a, an exciting time where you can take fundamental discoveries into really practically useful structures exactly. almost immediately by you guys working together. Yep. Uh, yourself here on the 3D fabrication and, and Fazel and Sanjeev and yep. you guys in the materials process. Yeah, that's true. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant stuff. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Al. No